Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your water reading. This reading has no particular period conjuncted to it. It's just a reading that can show you a path to ascension, not the path. There are many paths to ascension. This is just showing you a way. And while I shuffle and put out and lay out the cards, do take a read through the description. I am going to lay out a flying bird card with the center at mind. And the center is presenting the liftoff from where you can start your ascension, a point in your balance, maybe, or your presence, or your mind, where you feel you can build from. So, and with the flying bird, we have a body and also wings. The wings I will lay out with this Los Carabio card and those will represent your fear, your responsibility or the ability to respond to that fear, the intuition, the intelligent action, the point of relaxation and exception, the peace of mind is where it speaks and the arrival of where you can expect to uh, find yourself after you went through this path. So, Still waiting for a card to show and present itself from the body, uh, representing an Osho Tarot card. So I'm gonna take this card here. We have conditioning, and let's pull out the wings to this ascension point. Your fear, your ability to respond to that fear, the intuition, the intelligent action, the point of relaxation and exception and the arrival. So let me just start out with the reading, the conditioning, which is the Major Arcana 15. Uh, I can't now take by heart how, what that represents in the Major Arcanas. 15 conditioning, uh, I guess it's maybe the strength card, I don't know. Um, conditioning number 32. This card recalls an old Zen story about a lion who was brought up by sheep and who thought he was a sheep until an old lion captured him and took him to a pond where he showed his, him his own reflection. Many of us are like this lion. The image we have of ourselves comes not from our own direct experience but from the opinions of others. A personality imposed from the outside replaces the individuality that could have grown from within. We become just another sheep in the herd, unable to move freely and unconscious of our own true identity. It's time to take a look at our own reflection in the pond and make a move to break out whatever you have been conditioned by others to believe about yourself. Dance, run, jog, do gibberish, whatever is needed to wake up the sleeping lion within. Unless you drop your personality, you will not be able to find your individuality. Individuality is given by existence. Personality is imposed by the society. Personality is so social convenience. Society cannot tolerate individuality because individuality will not follow like a sheep. Individuality has the quality of the lion. The lion moves alone. The sheep are always in the crowd, hoping that being in the crowd will feel cozy. Being in the crowd, one feels more protected, secure. If somebody attacks, there is every possibility in a crowd to save yourself. But alone, alone, the lions move alone. And every one of you is born a lion. But the society goes on conditioning you, programming your mind as a sheep. It gives you a personality, a cozy personality, nice, very convenient, very obedient. Society wants slaves, not people who are absolutely dedicated to freedom. Society wants slaves because all the vested interests want obedience. So you hear it clearly and now 
to the real truth of the matter, how to break your conditioning and all the rounds around it. Your fear is represented by the tree of wands, representing sewing or something. And let me take the booklet fast to read out the tree of wands for you. So the tree of wands is about development, meetings that will be profitable for making your dream come true, correspondence, a short trip, persistency concerning which action to take. So your fear is about not taking action in a quite consecutive way or uh, any way concerning your uh, development. Uh, so do don't do not be afraid and the intelli oh and the responsibility to be able to respond to the fear of not developing is maybe represented by the emperor here. And the emperor I will read out quick. Uh, it's a major arcana definitely representing you being full of maturity your dream will come true more easily if you rely on yourself if you stand steadfast in your values and never compromise your equilibrium so that is definitely saying the right responsibility to respond to that fear and your intuition is all about the ten of swords so you have completion here in, in your intuition your intuition is completely devastated in some way you totally have somehow to distrust your intuition in a way this the ten is representing and maybe I leave it at that and I go after the intelligent action which is all about new beginnings with the ace of wands new endeavors taking a, a part of it staying in your ability to be full mature of your actions and definitely growing towards development and a point where you come into peace of mind is the queen of wands and the Queen of Wands, I will certainly read out fast for you here. The Queen of Wands. The Confidant, a friendly person who is reliable and sincere, exploit the sense of logic and common sense if you are gifted with the move even to closer to your dream. So definitely the Queen of Wands is somebody maybe you need to rely on a little bit more to become or to break your conditioning. And the, the point of arrival, we have the Devil card. So the Devil card, I will uh, read it, uh, it's all about change that. Be willing to change. So here, this is definitely showing you a path how to change. Uh, uh, being uh, the mature emperor of yourself, uh, growing towards new beginnings in your intelligent actions, starting new actions, more development. So it is definitely a reading for you. Uh, Sagittarius um, to have change in your life and definitely break the conditioning. I hope this reading was clear as cookies. Uh, so thank you for watching and take care.